Hello everyone, I wish you a profitable new week. Today we are going to look at gold analysis and what is happening in the current situation. Uh, the market is all in fire, everyone is looking at to buy gold, but the, the question is, is gold a good buying opportunity right now? Because we can be also in a strange position if we are going to buy gold. I'm going to break this analysis down from the lowest point that I'm focused. As you may see on this part of the structure, this is dating back on February 20, and this is all related with COVID-19. During COVID-19, price created a bearish wave, and later everyone jumped in gold, and we can see that gold already reached 2074. As we all know, everyone tends to invest in gold and other precious metals, when the market is in panic because it is also used as a value holder, holder during uh, the crisis moments. So this was the first top that was created during COVID-19. As you may see, the top was reached on July 20, it was August 20, it was the moment when we saw the first uh, vaccines to come out. And later, the price decreased from this point by approximately 20%. We can see that later, price created up and down waves. We can see that the top was retested again. But what happened on the second moment? On the second moment, we can see that uh, beginning from this point, this is December 21 at this moment. This was related with the energy crisis and later at the beginning of January, here we have the conflict between Russia and Ukraine and the price increased and it tested the top again. Everything was related all this time with the fear and panic related with an unknown, what was going to happen, related with the war that everyone was thinking uh, at that uh, it was going to move on all the Europe. So let's see what is going to happen and later we can see the price moving down again. So 2070 also at this point show it to be very strong and as you may see just a moment and as you may see all these moments are very critical price zones and also critical historical moments uh, nowadays. On the other hand, we can see that price is rising in the current conditions. But what is happening again right now? Here we are, we are dealing with the banking crisis. So as you may see in a period of time of uh, three years, let's say, we are dealing with different strange things. The price is rising again. For all of you that don't know, yesterday we had also another problem. UBS is buying Credit Suisse, for all of you that don't know. It was bought with a very cheap price. The deal was 3.25 billion Swiss franc, and overall they bought less than 60% compared to the market close on Friday. So it was very, very cheap. However, this intervention also from the Swiss bank is, ju uh, is just used from uh, the central bank to calm down the market about uh, banking panic right now. So let's see how this will uh, develop over the coming days. I don't think that this is already over. Is over. Uh, as you may see, we have also the Silicon Valley problem and also the Signature Bank to other from the US, the ones that... Uh, began all of this problem and we are having the Credit Suisse here. So three banks uh, until now, Credit Suisse was saved from UBS, the others already filled for bankruptcy here, chapter 11, all is done. It is strange how the USD is not impacted yet, but probably we may see from these two banks the stock market to move down your, over these days. So let's see, it looks like a strange situation. However, for all of you 
that think that you should buy gold in order to make profits, you should be also very careful because all the central banks are, are already collaborating with each other with a liquidity problem. We may see another article that was released on March 23, March 19, sorry, 2023. All the central banks tend to release this type of news during the weekends in order not to create instability in the price movement. The Bank of Canada, England, Japan, and the ACB, Federal Reserve, and also the Swiss National Bank, they are announcing a coordinated action to enhance the provision of liquidity via the standing US dollar liquidity swap lane arrangements. So they want just to cover the liquidity problems that they are facing with each other. They want to collaborate. However, let's see if this will impact the market over the coming days. And this is why I think that considering that they will not uh, let the banking crisis to spread more, probably we may see a fast sell-off. If gold is going to test the top, I am expecting again a maximum of 2070 because we can see that 2010 was already reached and probably we can see from this point the price to move down again. As a minimum for the bearish wave, it's a bit early, but we have to wait for more uh, what is going to happen during these days. We have to wait for the situation to calm down. It is not the right moment to sell. However, we can see that we have also a small structure that is stopping the price to increase at this moment. So it looks very interesting. And if price is going to move on a longer term trading, probably we may take profits on this area here. It looks very interesting, 1,815 approximately. The second one that I would like to target will be the previous law of the structure. It looks very interesting for the long-term traders. And the next one is the lowest part of the structure. So each of them is very, very useful in order to take profits. I really like them all, but it depends also from your trading style. If you are short-term trader, long-term trader. So let's see what is going to happen. This is a very simple scenario. Maximum may happen close to this area. However, we have just to be careful because the situation is still... Uh, is still not clear at all what uh, is going to happen. So that's all for uh, gold. I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to follow and hit the like button. Thank you. Bye-bye.